oh my god, Mark, why are the Lakers losing so much? Probably because AD and Schroeder is not playing right now. Back to you. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that should be everyone's like podcast, by the way. Uh, it's probably well, I don't know two star players, <laughs> maybe. Like I I I get why people want to be you know like losing their their stuff, their s, their their crap, losing their minds. There you go. That's a nice buttered way to say it. Uh, they're just losing their minds, but. Dude, I mean, once again, I mean, there there are obvious reasons. I, uh, I, I mean, it, I think there's uh, there's a little overreaction. I mean, it's three games. Uh, like I think it was uh, Ramona Shelburne said. Uh, uh, I, there was a quote of hers floating around today saying, uh, "Usually with uh, you know teams, uh, or if they lose a three game uh, losing streak, it matters, or it doesn't matter. This time it does." And like, no, it really doesn't. To be honest, we're we're, we're fine. We're we're still gonna be okay. We just got some banged up players. I mean, if you weren't, it almost feels like no one's been paying attention for like the last ten years. Like we've, we kind of know what goes on here. I mean, even before then, it's basketball. It's I don't know. What do you, what do you think? I think this reminds me of the time when the Lakers first stepped into the bubble. Yeah. Who's hurt for the Los Angeles Lakers right now? <laughs> that was- Thank you, Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who is hurt for the Lakers? Everybody. Somebody's got to tell the truth. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody but the mama. But this reminds me of when we. Uh, the Lakers first stepped into the bubble and a lot of Laker fans, especially me, like I was concerned because I was like, ah, the first few games, whatever. But then like, it was kind of alarming when they lost the, the Indiana Pacers, uh, when they like barely beat the B team for the Denver Nuggets in the regular season, it was just like, okay, are they ready for the playoffs? I'm not sure if they are or not. And you see that now kind of they're coasting. I shared the clip at the very beginning of the season on opening night when Harrison Fagan was our guest. Yeah. And he predicted that there they will be coasting. And he was like, I just did not predict that they would have this many wins by this time. And by the time I shared that, and let alone, did they not only, when I shared that clip, not only have they lost the last three games since then, there's a very well chance that he could be right. They could be third or fourth in the conference by yeah. then. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, this is not, it's not like, you know, no one expected this or no one was looking for, like, that's why I, I I get it. People just if you're not winning, you know, like, like Ricky Bobby, if you're not winning, you're losing, and that's generally it. So it's like, you know, I, I think it, a lot of has to do with just social media, because everyone's chiming in. You know, of course, there's gonna be banter, there's gonna be you know comments. I'm sure the Clipper fans are having a blast with this. I mean, you know, they lost, didn't they lose the other night too? To I think the Nets, the Nets. I think. They lost to the Nets, not, like, and they also lost to the Jazz last week. Yeah, so it's like you know, it's one of those things where like. Let, let's face it. I mean, the the Jazz and the Nets, they're potentially could be, you know, in in their uh, respective finals. But uh, I mean, it's still mid season. We're still here. Like, it's a lot of basketball left. No time to panic. But I don't know. I'm as I said on Twitter plenty of times. I'm saving my stress. I mean, my energy for the playoffs. Look like just like the Lakers are. That's at least it kind of feels like. But yes, they're coasting, and I'm coasting too. <laughs> I, I didn't watch yesterday, <laughs> or whenever the game was. <laughs> it was yesterday. <laughs> okay. They lost to the, well, here's the thing. Okay, it's one thing to say <laughs> you lost to the Nets because that was their first game. Yeah. Uh, without AD, like they played the Timberwolves without AD too. But I mean, their first loss without AD. Yeah. And Schroeder wasn't there, so Schroeder wasn't there. AD wasn't there. And then the Miami Heat. A lot of people were concerned, going like, "Well, the Miami Heat's not good. They, the Miami Heat, is like ten and seventeen. Hold up, real quick. If we forgot, they were the Eastern Conference champions. They were the ones playing the Lakers in the NBA Finals. And why do they have a negative five or a below five hundred record right now? Mm-hmm. It's because a lot of their players had to go through uh, COVID protocols, such as Tyler Hero. He's been pulled in and out of quarantine like freaking someone coming off the bench, like a six man. To quote Kanye West, wait, why is he? Here? Is he like a hanging out? Like he's in around bars? Florida, dude. Florida is like the place where like they're always going to look at people without masks. And so they're like, this person just caught coronavirus. Yeah. Who are they with? And they'll see Tyler Hero without a mask on. So they'll be like, yeah. sit down. And then they'll test him. And then, yeah, he'll make that face. Uh, and then Jimmy Butler came off of an uh, injury. Yeah. So he was suffering an injury for a long time. Goran Dragic has been in and out. And then Kendrick Nunn. I feel so bad for Kendrick Nunn because this guy is actually deserving of a spot. It's just when you literally got your full army, the Heat don't really consider him. The Heat, the heat have him like as the twelfth man, so he barely yeah. gets any playing. Yeah, time. does that suck for him? And he's deserving a playing time because every time Dragic or Hero's been out, he's been like stepping up and proving himself. I'll see his name everywhere. That's I'm like, oh shoot, you know, Nuns is doing pretty good. So right. you know, good for him. But yeah, go ahead. So no, I take that Miami Heat loss yeah. with a grain of salt as well because they're deserving. Sure, the Nets didn't have KD. The alarming loss was obviously the Washington Wizards. Yeah.